I traded a plastic Pokemon coin all the way up to a Pokemon card worth over $3,000. Come with me on this journey across the US to put my bartering skills to the test to acquire this first edition Neo Genesis Lugia. We've already traded this plastic Pokemon coin for cards, seal packs, slabs, Pokemon toys, more slabs, and eventually ended on a base set booster pack. With our 1999 base set booster pack in hand, our first stop is Collecticon in Fort Worth, Texas. I think to start, it would make sense to try to trade like a slab or some other kind of sealed thing. There's so many different booths and there's so much stuff going on. I'm honestly a little overwhelmed. I managed to find a booth where I was able to trade my base set booster pack for a sealed pack of Pokemon Jungle and a shiny new Rainbow Rare Charizard VMAX graded a CGC 9.5. Woo. As I was walking away with my new prize possessions, I was stopped by someone like in the middle of negotiating a deal for some boxes of Pokemon cards from 1999. And I also like negotiating deals for Pokemon cards from 1999. This is Esh Ketchum, a young entrepreneur. He immediately brings out the mother of all trade binders with vintage cards worth hundreds of dollars a piece. I'm not sure what I was doing at his age, but it definitely wasn't this. Actually, now that I think about it, it actually kind of was. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> uh, what? I got a sealed box of Gym Challenge. This is from like 2000 or something, but it's a sealed booster box. And I'm so excited, it's the first one I've ever gotten. Ash reminds me of my younger self, witty, ambitious, and absolutely way too comfortable working out trades with strangers. We traded for a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Art set and a Shining Gyarados from Neo Revelation. Shining Gyarados. Hey, thanks for the trade. Sure, thank you so much. <laughs> so Ash Ketchum is literally gonna open the pack that we just traded for. This is Let's so fun. Let's go. All right, good luck. Good luck. Bellsprout, Spiro, Meowth, yeah. okay. and a Kangaskhan oh. on home. I mean, no hit, but honestly, that's so pretty cool. It's for the experience. Yeah, it was really fun. Thank you, Danny, so much yeah. for the trade. I really enjoyed it. You're very welcome. All right, y'all, it's a new day. I have my fossil art set. I have a Shining Gyarados light play. We're gonna keep trading up, y'all. We are making some real progress here. We're already up to 575 bucks. If I wanna make it to the big leagues though, we're gonna have to start making some big moves. I'm talking trainer cards, but not just any trainer cards, modern trainer cards. All right, here, thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Hear me out. Pokemon Sun and Moon Tag All-Stars had some of the best trainer card artworks in existence, and I knew these would for sure spark some interest, especially in first edition PSA 10. We traded for a Blue's Tactics, Red's Challenge, and Green's Exploration from Tag All-Stars, and a Pokemon Center Lady from Infinity Zone. I quickly took a selfie with them for Instagram before getting a very important text asking me if I wanted to see the Pikachu Illustrator card, which is literally the rarest Pokemon card in existence. It's here, it's at this show, and and this card is currently valued at around $1 million. Guys, this is a 1998 Pikachu Illustrator card in a PSA 9. This is one of the rarest Pokemon cards in existence and I'm holding it in my hand. I asked if they wanted to trade their trainer card for my trainer cards, and unfortunately the owner wasn't down to work out a trade, but maybe next time. The art on these cards is absolutely incredible, so I knew I just needed to find the right collector who'd be ecstatic about snagging all four of these Gem Mint 10s. I stopped by the Pokemon Network's booth, who, if you remember, traded us the base set pack in the last video at the last convention. Ken Lee has an absolutely amazing collection of vintage Pokemon cards, but he actually did not have these four full art trainer cards. I immediately gravitated toward these absolutely adorable Poncho Pikachu boxes. Yes, oh my it's God. It's called Poncho Pikachu. It's so cute, I love it. Okay, here you go. These boxes are some of my favorite Pokemon products that Pokemon has ever made, and they're incredibly hard to find, especially sealed. Thank you so much, this is so cute, I love it. So it's got all of the, the bad guys, basically, from Team Rocket all the way to Team Skull. This is so cool. This one comes with a full art Pikachu promo where Pikachu is dressed up as Team Skull. After working out this trade, I quickly phoned a friend to see what trade I should do next, but they were in the middle of breaking up an intense Pokemon battle or something. I, I guess Pikachu called Charizard a name. I, I, I don't really know what happened. Anyway, I was running into this one issue with the trade up challenge. Since our last video, so many people started doing their own trade up challenges that the vendors were getting tired of trading. So many booths I went to said that they had already done multiple trades that day. I can't believe this is happening.
but I'm not giving up that easy. With this Poncho Pikachu box in a dream, I'm strutting around Collecticon searching for a trade and nothing is gonna stop me. Wait, you got up to this? Yeah. No way. Oh. Hey! Except that, that could probably stop me. I ran into Island Girl and a fellow content creator who definitely didn't just try to steal Pikachu. We're trying to work out a deal over here. We have cards, but our prices are not lining up. Ugh. Our trade didn't work out. He had a lot of awesome slabs, but none that were within the window that we were looking for for this trade. And by the way, have you ever seen a Pikachu with human feet? Yeah, me neither. A anyway. But from one sealed item to two, we found somebody who had some sealed booster boxes of Pokemon cards, X and Y evolutions, and Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. We got one, we got two. Dude, hey, thank you go. for the trade. Hey, that's what's up. These boxes bring our grand total from Collecticon up to $1,250. Woo! On our way, do, 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 on our way. But before hopping on a plane to Miami TCG Con, there's still one thing we had to do. Remind everyone to make sure they've subscribed to our channel and dropped a like on this video. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that wouldn't hurt, but actually, open an irresponsible amount of vintage Pokemon cards. <laughs> Cards okay. Whew. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now Our next stop is Miami TCG Con right here in downtown Miami. This convention was absolutely packed with Pokemon TCG items, so we wasted no time getting started on a trade. Here's five vintage Pokemon theme decks and three amazing looking slabs. And this looks like it would be a pretty fair trade. However, we looked up the values of these items incorrectly and I actually lost $100 in value on this trade. Honestly, I might have just been blinded by how absolutely amazing these vintage theme decks look. Honestly, I'm not even mad. Like, I'm, I'm not even, I should be more mad than I am. These look amazing. The theme decks, which were from Base Set 2 and Gym Challenge, added up to $900, and our Dark Charizard, Dark Blastoise, and Bulbasaur slabs equal around $250. Dang, Danny, I didn't realize you were doing a trade down challenge. Shut up. I spent the next few hours attempting to do trades, but nobody wanted to trade for my theme decks. People were getting excited about the progress I'd made, but I still couldn't find anyone who wanted to trade for the whole set of eight items. Danny is absolutely what a legend. What a legend. This is incredible. That is beautiful. But things started to turn around when I eventually found someone who was willing to trade my three slabs for one Shadowless Venusaur card valued at $350. So this brings us back into the green zone. Whew. I was getting kind of worried there for a second. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, I'm feeling on top of the world. I'm ready to take on any challenge that this convention has for me. And this next trade is where things start getting really interesting. My friend reached out to a friend who reached out to a friend who reached out to me to say that one of my friends wanted to do a trade, but it had to be at a super secret, undisclosed location, the Forever Collector Lair. I guess I kind of just disclosed it, but now I understand why he couldn't just meet me down at the convention. Hi, Carlos. What's up? We're hey. trading. The, you have so many cards. This is ridiculous. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. <laughs> we got so many options here. Okay, so what are we working with here? Um, You said you had the theme decks. I really yes. like theme decks. I collect them, so I was like, all right, let's get you something good out of here. You like slabs. Think I, I do can, like slabs. Think I can help you with a good trade. Okay, this is part of my collection. You ready? Mm -hmm. Pop two, I own both of them. What? And they both say two Carlos on them. Stop. I literally own both of them. Wow. The other one is at home. That's magical. Yeah, here we got some other autograph cards. Yeah, that's, that's my boy. Metagross is the guy. carrying these around? It's the guy. It's the guy. Arita, 9 9. That one's for sale. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Yo. What are you doing? You're not the only one. <laughs> Which one, which version is this? This one's though? Spectra. This is the Spectra. Okay, so here's what I've got. Got the Venusaur. I do like the Tones. Shadowless, 7.5. 7.5. We've got a full set of the four base set two theme decks. Base set two theme decks. English? English. 
And then the Giovanni. Giovanni. Thing. Definitely. So we were looking through these slabs and other various things. <laughs> I propose those. I think that I don't need them anymore. I think they can go to a really good home. Stop. Uh, so I'm definitely willing to trade up from the theme decks to those slabs. Let's go, dude. If, you're, if you want them, they're yours. If, I can't help you if you don't. I'll take it. Let's All do right. it. Yeah. Woo! This trade was huge. Carlos, you're a real one. This just set us up for the trade of a lifetime. Tay is organizing Carlos's suitcase. <laughs> That's a well-organized set of slabs right there. Put our in. Wow, and you even organize them by the chrome. This is a base set Pokemon Triangle Error Pack, a Gyarados Gold Star, Topps Lapras, Japanese First Edition Expedition Blastoise, and a Dark Typhlosion card, all adding up to a value of over $2,300. I'm about to freaking pass out. This is insane. We started with a coin, a plastic Pokemon coin, and now we've traded up to an entire army of rare vintage Pokemon items. This is actually a dream come true, but we're not done yet. After fighting off a vicious dog attack, I made my way over to the Wind Condition booth. I've had my eye on this Pokemon card since I first got to the show. It is one of my favorite vintage Pokemon cards of all time, the Neo Genesis Lugia. I'm really, really interested in this one. What do okay. you think? Okay, let's take a look. I think our price is outdated, so I think it's probably fair. It's the rarest card in the set, and they had two of those Lugias in their display. After a long while of crunching numbers and negotiating, we had finally come to an agreement. I think we can make it work. I think really? we can make it work. Cool. All right, we have a deal. Thank you so much. Woo! Thank you. No problem. We've done it. A first edition Neo Genesis Lugia in a Beckett 9. The price tag on this one is a little bit outdated, so this one is valued at around $3,000. Woo! Huge shout out to Win Condition for doing this absolutely amazing trade. This is a true grail card and an absolutely iconic, iconic card to have in any collection. So that's it. We started with a Pokemon coin and traded all the way up to this $3,000 Pokemon card. But the journey doesn't stop here. Join me in our next video where we trade up for something much, much bigger. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel so you see the next leg of our journey. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next trade up challenge.